Hello and welcome on some cat flipper. Hello and welcome back again to my side of YouTube. This is me, Louis524, and now I'm gonna get back right into the Black Tower in the Tree White Hollow from <laughs> White Forest from Black and White 2. Now, why am I getting into this? Because in the other video, now I'm gonna have to put this in the description part one of this video but before I talk about anything else I need to get this out I need to say this this is a theory I'm not saying that this is true I'm not saying this is what's happening this is just my what ifs or my theory something that I came up with myself already then so, I might do a little bit twist, like it was probably him or that, but who knows? Okay, so, Giovanni. No, 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 no. I wasn't talking about that when I did the cliffhanger. Um, in the White Tree Hollow, White Tree Hollow, or Black Tower, you find characters that talk about their cameras. I wonder who's watching, and... The tower goes on forever. I wonder when it stops. And then we have... When you get to a certain point in the tower or White Tree Hollow, you don't see them anymore. And the more you go in, everyone has different... Um... Things to say. Now... What I remember is, somebody said, I came in here and I lost my way, I can't get out. Now, when you get in there, in Black Tower, I'll be honest, everything seems very fishy. But in White Tree Hollow, people know exactly what's going on, except for the fact that there are cameras. Why are there cameras? Who's watching us? And what are they doing? Now, whoever's watching them is making a whole lot of money from the profits of whoever's get making money for letting these people go in, fight, get experience for their Pokemon, and the prize money. This is just a theory. I believe the prize money you get from the people you fight in there is actually cut in half now the amount of money you get isn't going to be the same amount that you're gonna get from everyone else outside of the tower why is that because some of the money that you're making is also going into I don't know going into whatever it is that this tower or white tree hollow is doing now I only think it's in black tower in black city or metropolis or whatever but anyway all this money is being used for a reason and all these cameras that are watching are there for a reason now these reasons are unknown but I can speculate why they're there now let's talk about ash just for a second Ash has a peculiar Pokemon, a peculiar Greninja, with a peculiar evolution, which is Synchro Evolution. Now, what if the person watching what's going on is looking for a evolution that can only happen in battle? Now, now, that could possibly be the reason in White Tree Hollow, but in Black Tower, they're probably looking for Mega Evolution. Now, we don't see any Mega Evolution go on in Black or Black and White 2 because it was never there. It was never a thing. But, for all we know, Mega Evolution has always been a thing in the world of Pokemon. 
but it was never touched upon until X and Y. Now, why is it that we haven't seen it until X and Y? Now, all these funds that were going on in Black Tower, now for all we know, Black Tower and White Tree Hollow has been abandoned and whoever was a part of that made whatever it is they found out that they were looking for and made it a thing in black in X and Y now why why there's a possibility that someone who is hungry for power Yes, hungry for power, but who knows? Could be fake? Or no? no? Fake, what am I talking about? It could be wrong, I could be right, but for all we know, it's all speculations. It's all nothing but theory. <laughs> theory! Now, Why is it that we can access both areas in the same game? Now, when I say the same game, once you beat Black Tree, I mean, White Tree Hollow and Black Tower in Black and White 2, you unlock a key. Now, once you get that key, you can activate that key in options. Now, who knows what the options is in the world of the game, in the in the Pokemon game world. Now, let's just say for a second that we're living a perfect life. Now, this is going to sound like it's coming from the mind of a child, but be open-minded for just a few seconds or minutes or hours depending on how this video goes as we're playing a game what's really going on is that there's a reality going on that this character that we're playing is it's just an open slate ready for the next action from us to do now in the options could be God playing a little game could be us messing with the system messing with the speed of the texts making everyone talk as fast as we need them to to get them to shut up to get them to just do their tutorial and let us go on with the game Rude, very rude. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. But in black and white, too, what's really going on is we're opening portals from different dimensions to another. And that is how Black City is in white, too. And White Tree Hollow in the White City ends up in Pokemon Black 2. Now, let's think about the card game. Last thing about the card game. Now, Loxton had mentioned that there is another way for Pokemon to unleash their potential power without the use of Mega Evolution. Now, like, as he said, there's evolution, there is Mega Evolution, there is Synchro Evolution, and there is also whatever from Science. Science, natural, scientific evolution in natural. Now, I'm probably mix, mix, messing up a whole lot of stuff that what he said. I am sorry. But anyway, in his video with 
um, the third video talking about uh, the alchemics and whatnot and what's going on with everything. Now, I was talking about, I was talking earlier in the other video, part one, that there is a great threat to man and Pokemon. Now, who was that? That was the Ultra Beasts. Now, as I said before, Arceus, that they now don't want us to obtain in any game, could possibly be an Ultra Beast himself. Now, everyone's been speculating that Ultra Beasts aren't Pokemon at all, but I believe one person was right, even if it was just a theory. Nappy. Nappy had speculated. Now, I don't know if it was just a theory for fun and jokes, but this might actually be true. Ultra Beasts could just possibly be future Pokemon that we just cannot obtain in the game. Why is that? Who knows? But all we do know is Tapi Coco is going to be fighting against Absorption. UB Absorption or whatever. And UB Beauty to protect the island. Now, we don't know when that's going to happen or if it's going to happen in the first part when we first start up the game with our starter Pokemon. Now, first of all, I just want to say I am totally going with Pablio. Why? Because every Pokemon game I have ever played, I have always picked fire or grass. The only water Pokemon that I've ever used and loved was... No, I've had two. The only two Pokemon that were water that I've ever used and loved, Totodile and Froakie. Why? Not just the fact that Ash used them, just because of the fact that they're unique. One's a crocodile and the other's a frog. But not just that. I'm not going to get into it. But anyway... There have been very there has been a whole lot of speculation that we're going to be getting a different two different lines for evolution for the starters. Now that's amazing. But also what? Now Boxton didn't you say that Type Null was created from the starters? Because the three starters had something to do with the alchemic. The, al the, the recipe in alchemy, alchemy to make a Philosopher's Stone. But n not just them, but another... Pokemon that Nintendo was talking about, that Nintendo had mentioned that was a part that has enough to do with the game as three starters, which was Rockruff, the body of Rockruff, the front of a bird, the back of possibly Pablio's tail, or who knows if it was some of their evolution parts, but Anyway, anyway, let's get back into what I was talking about earlier. The Ultra Beasts. Type Null, I believe, is going to have a huge point, huge role into going into the fight against the Ultra Beasts. Why is this? Now, mm, mm, mm. I forgot to mention 
this is just my little what if. What if Arceus is a ultra beast? Ooh, ooh, oh my god. Now, only reason I say that is because they made it so he can't obtain Arceus in any kind of way. Except for the the other things that they've been doing, the whatever it is that you find on Siri be like, oh there's this going on with that Pokemon or that going on with this Pokemon. But anyway, what if Arceus himself is a super beast? Or ultra beast. Super ultra beast. The god. Super ultra god beast. Because who knows? Wait. Lockstep. How did you how did the end of your video go off? The the, the ring around Arceus' body? Could it possibly be the same as what's on Type Null's head? Now now now, 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 let's think about this. Suppressing Type Null's power, ability, to what? Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, couldn't it be the same thing as you said with Arceus' ring around his body? Could there be a possibility as if, as you fucking ended the video with Arceus possibly being suppressed by its ring by a higher authority. What's higher than God? Or what if someone got to God? What if Arceus is in fact a hyper beast. I mean, ultra beast. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Hyper beam beast. Um, ultra beast. But, in a way, what I'm trying to say is. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. All I'm saying is this is a theory. This is what I think. This is my little what ifs. Oh, I almost forgot to say what I was talking about in a video that I deleted. Why? Because I just was being too awkward in it. Now, <clears throat> that's going to be part three. <clears throat> so this has been Luther574, and I'll see you in the next video talking about Looker. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.